guys, what is up? This is a uh, just a quick video to share a projection I had with you guys last night. Um, yesterday was a really good day. I started a new job recently that is far less stress, much better work-life balance, and I'm hoping that that will actually contribute to uh, more successes in the projection area. Uh, anyway, so I, I spent the day at work. It was good. I came home and then I uh, chatted with a couple of good friends that I met over this channel for a few hours in the evening, talking about projection. And you know, by the time I went to bed, I was just 100% sure that everything was going to work out and I was going to be able to project. And sure enough, uh, about 3 a.m. I became lucid in a dream and then I converted that into a projection using that method where I used the indirect technique uh, to turn that lucid dream into a projection. I control the wake-up process, roll out during the wake-up process, uh, and end up on my bedroom floor. Um, so, one of the things I was chatting about with one of the one of the friends yesterday, yesterday evening was uh, about entities and sleep paralysis and, you know, scary, scary stuff that some people experience. And I mentioned in my own sleep paralysis video that I have never experienced that. I've never run into dark entities or threatening beings or anything malicious. And so uh, I mentioned to this, uh, to this friend last night that I, I really would like to experience that. You know, even if it's terrifying, I'd like to ever do everything at least once. So I figured uh, maybe I can manifest one. So I went downstairs, got to my front door, and... I've mentioned in other videos that I, I use my front door as a method of manifesting things. I stand at the front door of my house, and then before I open it, I tell I tell myself, you know, when I open this door on the other side, there will be, you know, whatever it is I'm looking for. And so I did that. I said, when I open this door, there's going to be a, a, a dark entity, a, a something malicious on the other side, so I can experience this. And I opened the door, and there was nothing. Uh, so I thought it didn't work. But then I'm looking, I'm looking down uh, across my lawn towards where I parked my minivan out on the street. And uh, it gets progressively darker towards my minivan as though my minivan is like radiating darkness. And so I decided I'm going to go check that out. Uh, so I, I walk out, walk down the driveway, up the sidewalk to the minivan. And the closer I get, the worse my, my vision gets. It just gets darker and darker and darker. And so I open the door to the minivan climb inside and it's just pitch black and I can't see anything at all and I have this feeling that there is somebody or something sitting next to me in the seat in the passenger side and so I reach over and I feel around in the passenger seat and there is there's somebody there and the moment that I touch this thing it just jumps on me and throttles me and starts trying trying to pin me to the seat and starts you know flailing and punching you know, at first I'm fighting back and think, you know, I'm trying to get away. But then I stop for just a moment and I think, you know, this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to interact with one of these things. And so I decided to try something rather than fight it off, which is my first instinct. I wrapped my arms around it and grabbed my, and, and locked my hands behind its back and just pulled it tight toward my chest and just squeezed it. And at that point, it quit trying to pin me down and it started flailing and struggling and trying to get away. And the longer I held it toward, or, you know, against my chest, um, my heart rate was beating and my, uh, my adrenaline was pumping. And I felt this energy building inside of me. And this energy built and built and continued to build until I had a, a sound like a shotgun go off in my head. Just an incredibly loud bang. And uh, everything just flashed bright white. And it was like I was uh, floating in the void state. So I've talked about the void state before, but this time it was like a blindingly bright white void state instead of the black nothingness that I'm usually in. And so I'm just floating in this white nothingness for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds, and I slowly fade back into my body. So uh, I'd love to get your thoughts on that. Apparently holding one of these dark entities against yourself just... I don't know, takes their energy, fills you with their energy, and eventually turns into, uh, I think one of my uh, viewers called this the flashbang effect. Um, anyways, I, I'm going to be trying to do more of this. This was a, it was a very cool, interesting experience, and started out maybe a little bit scary, but this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to interact with these entities and, and see what happens. So, 
That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again soon.